Hi, and welcome back. Thank you for joining us for Foundations. This is now the end of Foundations, and you're about to transition to AWS Courseware Academy official courseware. Although I was part of AWS as a professional services consultant, you will now be trained and taught by other consultants as well as DevOps specialists. You'll utilize the AWS Academy official courseware to get a deeper dive into the DevOps portion and further development of your solutions inside AWS. I'm excited for you to make your journey across. I hope to see you in future coursewares. So to wrap things up, our foundation summary included you learning Linux administration. So the command line, what the kernel is, what the systems are, syscalls, uh, permissions, all the great things that go with Linux. You also understood how to do basic scripting principles in there as well. We also transitioned to network administration where you understood the OSI model. What devices go what, what packets look like, what normal looks like, what abnormal looks like. We also moved into AWS-based services. Now, even though you are going to go into AWS Academy courseware, we want to make sure that you have overlapping introduction, hands-on experience and practicality with all these great use cases. You got to see how we did automated security, automated deployments, and other pipeline-related items inside the base services. You should be aware of all the services so you have a good understanding and the ease of transition into the AWS Academy coursework. We also moved into Python. So moving away from console, command line, uh, and repetitive tasks, you could automate those tasks in Python. We learned about uh, transitions of uh, unit testing, if else, input validation, uh, as well as taking care of regular expressions and other patterns for uh, writing to databases and how to integrate that and tie it back into AWS based services. Finally, we wrapped up our foundations, including DevOps best practices, which included the pipelines, looking at Jenkins looking at code pipeline, as well as understanding Scrum and Agile, the relationships between them, and how you can integrate security as well as the DevOps culture and mindset in developing and providing the best value possible in the quickest time to your stakeholders. Your next steps include using the AWS Academy courseware to complete this course. You also want to start off with Capstone Project Kickoffs, which is part of your project for taking all the skills that we learned in the foundations the AWS, AWS Academy courseware, as you can see through, and then build your own solutions to create use cases or solve problems of, that you are aware of for your enterprise. Before the end of the course, you'll also have to submit your capstone submission and pass that using the rubric your instructor gives you. Again, I'd like to congratulate you on making it to the next transition, and I hope to see you in future coursework. Thank you for watching. My name is Dennis. Hope to see you in the next module. Good luck in your endeavors.